Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. Today, back on Giants franchise, led by White Lightning Kyle. Vanilla Vic. Kyle Laletta, Mr. Almost ran over a police officer, but that's what he does to other teams. He runs them over. Okay? So we're, re we're ready to go. We got a good offense, good defense. Alex Espinoza actually has an upgrade point, so we will go into... Um... Oh, he's a really good run stopper. Let's go into coverage here. Let's do pass coverage. Get him up to a 96 overall. He no longer fits the scheme, technically. Better boost to a coverage, though. Now he's a... They're both 96. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's a 96 overall. XP is not going to be that important for him at this stage. But I really think we need to just get into shape here. I said we shouldn't have a tough game all season. And then last game, we had an amazing comeback. And it was a super tough game. Today against the Rams, I just need the offensive line to play well. And we can bounce back and start destroying teams. It's, it's such a good team. I mean, I need to see it happen. There he is, Kyle Laletta. I'm also pretty much over my sickness in case anybody cared. And I really got to get these videos recorded in bulk. And I've not been good about it. As I record this on, well, I guess it's 27 minutes into the 8th of November. I have a surgery on the 15th. And it's going to put me like out of commission for recording for like 10 days. I need to get videos going like I'm going away for 10 days because I kind of am. Do you guys have any TV show recommendations that I can watch? I've kind of been saving up a, a few. If you guys have, have any TV recommendations for me to watch, uh, or movies that maybe I haven't seen, definitely drop them in the comments section below. I'd be more than delighted to try them out. I'm going to have a lot of free time. Alex Espinosa wraps up, makes a great tackle on Todd Gurley. He could be a problem today. Going to the flat for Gerald Everett. He steps out of bounds. That's called great defense. He's too scared to challenge Julius Manning one-on-one. -on -one. It's a screen, and not a great one. Not a great one. Great stuff by the defense, allowing one yard in, I guess, three plays, really. The punt uh, is a fantastic one. I'm going to pin us at the seven. How is McKay still returning those, by the way? i got to change that. Although, uh, likely, I never will. They really stack the box. It makes me want to take a deep shot. But we're just backed up so far into row and end zone. It really worries me. We're going to block Tamar Jacobs as well. And just hope we can pick this up. It's a blitz off that left side. And um, we're going to throw it away. I just didn't really like anything there. We're not getting the separation I want from these receivers. I also want to get Evan Ingram more involved. I feel like we don't do that enough. And I wanted to run the ball. But Evan Ingram, wide open. Great lob pass from Laletta. And we're moving the chains. That was a really necessary pickup. Time to feed Mr. Big Thighs. If you guys ever watch a Giant game, especially in primetime, they can't stop talking about Saquon Barkley's massive quads. But check it out. Look at the power. Saquon only had 10 carries last week. We were really uh, down for a lot of that game. So I do want to feed Saquon Barkley a lot more. We were just in a scenario where we really could not afford to hand him the ball last week down by so much. But I guarantee you, if Saquon Barkley only gets 10 carries today, I will end the series in after week two, which is what this is. So I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, that's a great block by Howard Russell. Saquon Barkley in the clear. Breaks a tackle. He's still going. Saquon Barkley, unbelievable. Three rushes, 44 yards. That one being the largest of the game. That is wide open. Sterling Shepard. Great way to move the chains. I think he got the first. He did. Ingram in motion across. And we had a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the inside linebacker. And we just couldn't make a miss. Looked like it actually may have been a safety in the box. I don't know who Baldwin is, but I could he have like a number in the 30s, 38? It's not really a linebacker number. Third and 20. Tried to run the ball there and got negative one yards. We're going to try this verticals again. Hopefully they don't send a lot of heat. 
And um, we got Odell maybe. Up the middle, touchdown. What a small window. But Kyle Lalletta hits Odell perfectly. That's what you like to see. Great touchdown. We're on the board. Way to convert third downs. That was the story of this drive. Third down conversions. And that's why we're up 7-0. Nine, or excuse me, 12 plays, 93 yards, eight up over five minutes. That is a fantastic drive. Everett in motion. Cross back to the offensive line. That's going to be play action. And that is a pick by Raymond. Kent Raymond, the rookie outside linebacker with his first NFL pick. We drafted him mainly to be a situational edge rusher, but he's played a lot more, and he's showing us why. Still got to change that helmet so he doesn't look like a, a quarterback. I hate that helmet. I really do. But what a great turnover. Jared Goff throws it right to him, and the offense is right back to work. I love it. Here's play action. We're going to go deep. Howard Russell. Ball on the money. It's a touchdown. Unbelievable. Take a bow, Howard Russell. Okay, he fell down. All right. What a throw from Kyle Lalletta. The deep ball accuracy was our main concern with him. He's missed a couple, especially this season already. He's missed two. But that one was as perfect of a throw as you will ever find. Great footwork by Howard Russell in the back of the end zone. Don't overturn this. I swear to God. It's upheld. 14-0 G-Men. And the Big Blue Wrecking Crew is back with a vengeance in season number four. Ooh, that is play action. Goff has a man deep, maybe over the middle. It would have been a tough throw. He opts to check down to Gerald Everett. And he is two for four, or two of four. Both passes going to Gerald uh, Everett. Four yards and an interception. Not a great start for him, admittedly. That's over the middle! Come on, man. Derwin James wrapped up. I need the big hit over the middle. I don't think Brandon Cooks was allowing it, unfortunately. Here's a run. Raymond in the backfield can't wrap up. Espinosa's there. I mean, if we get these linebackers going, if Kent Raymond turns into an absolute monster, this team really is unstoppable because we have no real holes at all. Kyle Laletta is a beast. And then, like, outside linebacker was a little bit of a concern, but if Kent Raymond can fill that hole, man, I mean, we're going to be in a great spot. Oh, my God. I need to wrap up there. Need to wrap up. That's a user pick. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. Feels good to say it. It's been a while since my first user pick, but it was a great bait and switch. And we had Jared Go Goff. The fish on the hook. I don't know. It worked out well. I think we scored on this play last possession. And we're going to go deep again. Kyle downfield for Howard Russell. And the connection is crystal clear today. Kyle Aletta is slinging it, and I love it. Not a great time to blitz for the Rams. Saquon will make you pay. Great spin to stiff arm combo. Barkley on third and two. He has the wheels to get to the edge. Great juke. And that could have been a play stopped in the backfield. Barkley's not going to let it happen. High point time. Evan Ingram. Laletta on the money. Touchdown number three. They were in a look like cover two. They left the deep middle open. I know that wasn't super deep, but yeah, they were in cover two. And... The high point was perfect. And it is 21-0 in favor of the New York Football Giants. That is exactly what you want to see. Dominant defense and dominant offense. Only one forced turnover. Two turnovers, actually, with the Espinosa pick. This is a good team. We got to start winning games, man. Like, more, more like this one, I should say. Third down. Step up defense. Don't let them into our side of the field. I want to use the great wall of Carter here. And they're going to check down. Not a good move. You're going to have to punt now. Although fourth and five from the 44, down 21. Why not go for it, man? 
Oh, because Johnny Hecker has a, a cannon of a leg. We start from the 20, doesn't really matter. Can we throw this on the run? Oh my goodness, we can! Under pressure for Odell! Kyle is a different beast at- oh shit. That was a touchdown. Odell and his antics, am I right? Here's the run. Barkley. Oh boy, they're really playing for the run, huh? I don't think it's gonna happen. Who's our target here? We'll kind of just have to see. I kind of want to throw a circle. High point. Keenan Allen. Touchdown. We are firing on all cylinders today. Probably should be an Odell touchdown, but Keenan Allen gets one. 28 nothing. Kind of a slaughter. Golf throwing right to BJ Goodson. Easy reads. Cat in the hat. BJ Goodson with the easy reads in the user pick. And the pick six. And the domination. 35 nothing. Oh my, that's wide open. Gerald Everett seems to be the only guy Jared Goff can connect with here. As I'm probably done usering for the video. You guys got your two easy reads if you like that. If you don't, I don't know, whine about it. You guys are pretty good at that. I like how we still can't seem to get any pressure. How does this defense get no pressure on the quarterback? I really don't understand it. Maybe using the D-line, things will change. And that is a fantastic play by Landon Collins to break that ball up. Granted, not exactly a stud he's throwing to. Oh no. That was no good. And they punt. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a wrap already. Oh, we're pinned on the one. Okay. How about a 99 yard run from Saquon Barkley? Oh, a safety? Okay. Like, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Goff gonna throw it up as time expires here in the first half. As we are holding a 35 to 2 lead, getting the football. You guys think Saquon Barkley's gonna get a few carries? I would guess. Oh, there's Saquon. Look at the wheels. Ah, pretty good juke. Just John Johnson was too close behind. Oh, that's a beautiful lead. Keenan Allen's going to have number two. He's not going to have number two. What a, uh, what a great throw for Loletta. He's really having a career day here. Sliders haven't changed. Just Loletta is bringing it today. Hopefully silencing the haters. He has nine passes for like a million yards. And it's pretty good numbers. Oh my god, that's a sick one. Get injured last year. No. All right, he's good. But that double hurdle into the end zone would have been pretty sick. I might try it again. It's not now. Roletta on the move. Uh, yeah, I can't make an excuse for that one. You guys got me on that. I probably just should have taken that one with uh, Laletta, but here's a handoff to Saquon. That's an easy touchdown. Aaron Donald, you're not even close. You're not even close to as good as Saquon. And we extend the lead to 40. Third and 17 for the Rams. I'm surprised they're not a higher overall. They got worse here in season four, and we almost got pressure. I was completed. Okay, interesting. Very interesting, indeed. Oh wow, that was third down? I probably would have passed. We're gonna actually punt for the first time today. Uh, I wasn't paying attention as much as I should have. That's for sure. Oh no. Can we not have that happen? I know we've completely Immobilize Ty Gurley today, but that doesn't mean that we want to allow like 20 yard rushes out of nowhere How is that so open? Why is Gerald Everett torching us? This is what I'm talking about with the linebackers over the middle of the field. They can't throw to the sideline Morris DuBose has been excellent today. You know what Jalen Mills aside from one play has been excellent today 
The safeties have been excellent. The linebackers in coverage, not excellent. Not excellent. I know Kent Raymond is a pick. Espinosa is a pick. PJ Goodson is a pick. Two of those were user picks. Kent Raymond, honestly, in coverage has been the only one that's shown up. And that was one play. It's hard to say what he's done the rest. We're going to have to man up user Gerald Everett. But they're going wide open to the side for Ryan Switzer. Don't get hyped, Julius Manning. Chill out of first. What are you doing? Tell him, Bengus Khan, head coach extraordinaire. Don't get excited for giving up a play. Have we, do we have a sack today? Oh, man. Play action. Finally a sack. There we go. Came from the secondary. Julius Manning on basically the nickel corner blitz. He plays like that hybrid safety linebacker role, and he's pretty good at it. We have no defensive line pressure the entire game, really. Third and ten. Why is that so open? Morris DuBose. Please. He's in man coverage. We gotta upgrade that man, maybe. I wonder what 99 man plays like. I wonder if that would actually be good. Probably not. Third and goal. Our defense has not allowed points to the offense. Let's keep it that way. Patrick right in the game. Goff throws. And a fan's wide open. And it's through the stadium, I think. And they're going to settle for the field goal. Admirable. And they're in striking distance. Carlos Beltran hit that one right out of the park. There we go, Barkley. Oh, that's a great run. Oh, he's still going a little bit. Man, it's going to be hard to crown an MVP for today's game. Because Saquon's been amazing. Kyle Aletta has been amazing. Amazing has been amazing. Play action. Oh, no. I didn't see that coming. Hello, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Oh, he had to salt. Third and 24. Is there a point trying to get this? I don't think so. Hurts our third down numbers, maybe. Or does it? Nah, it really does. Good attempt, though, from Carlos Kershaw. Is Goff going to run? Oh, he's going to throw it super deep. Derwin. Uh, okay. Obviously, Jalen Mills should not be in man coverage on Brandon Cooks. That was disaster number one. Jalen Mills got burnt. Uh, like toast that was sitting, you know, sitting in the toaster for like not even 20 minutes, like 20 years. I mean, he got torched. And then Derwin James didn't even attempt to make a play on the ball, which is disappointing. Last play of the game, and Saquon is gonna get wrapped up by Aaron Donald and lose a yard. But that's the game. 42 to 12 is your final score. We win by 30. And honestly, what should have been more. I do want to adjust the sliders a little bit. I want to turn up CPU run blocking and turn down CPU pass blocking. Well, why don't you turn down CPU pass blocking? You just crush them. Well, we also have one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. And we didn't really even get pressure at all from any defensive line. We got one sack the entire game from a safety. Kyle Loletta was beautiful, nine for 13. Four touchdowns, could have been five, zero picks, I love it. Saquon had 26 attempts, a little more than 10. 166 and a touchdown, eight broken tackles, like to see that. Gerald Everett had seven catches. I don't really know even what to say on that one. Odell, two catches, 98. Howard Russell, two catches for 70. Keenan Allen, two catches for 41. Everyone had two catches today. But also, everyone had a touchdown. Keenan Allen, Howard Russell, Odell, and Evan Ingram. We didn't really throw the ball out. We didn't have to. Shoe clock was on a lot of the game as well. Espinosa, ton of tackles. Sacks for Julius Manning, and that's it. Interceptions for the linebackers, except for Lorenzo Carter. And forced fumbles for nobody. Touchdown is BJ Goodson. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.